right. See if we can get this bad boy sided in. Okay. Let's go check that out. Probably like three clicks up. All right, this ought to do it. What in the world? What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today we're going to have some fun with a long range revolver. Let's go check this thing out and get started. So as you may know, I have quite a thirst for large handguns and today I have one of the largest. This is a Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum with a 14 inch barrel. And a lot of you may not know this, but I actually read your comments and I see what you're saying. Scott, why don't you scoot back a little bit? Why do you gotta shoot everything so close? Well, today I have just the gun for that. You'll notice it's topped off with a pistol scope. It has a muzzle brake and a bipod. And today we're gonna take a few long range shots. So like I said, this behemoth is chambered in 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. But what's interesting about the Smith & Wesson 460 is it will also fire 454 Casul and 45 Colt. <laughs> All right, let's get a steel target set up over there at about 40 yards away. Let's take two shots with the 460 Magnum. And then I'm gonna try out the other calibers and see if we have a difference in our point of impact. First shot. <laughs> Dead center. Let's take one more. <laughs> Ring in that steel. All right, so next I wanna try out 454 Casul and 45 Colt. By the way, all the ammo we're using today is Underwood ammo. Okay, let's see if we have a difference in our point of impact. Um, not really. I was a little low. Okay, now for the 45 Colt. Oh my gosh, that is so quiet compared to the 460 and the 454 Casul. So judging from this, it doesn't look like I had much of a difference in my point of impact when I swapped calibers. It's starting to get a little bit chilly. I had to throw on my sweatshirt. So up first, I'm gonna shoot this fruitcake mix and this T-Rex. We have some Underwood ammo, 460, 300 grain jacket of hollow points. Okay, I am gonna go for the fruit cake first. Oh! <laughs> All right, now let's take a shot at that T Rex. Nailed it! <laughs> ah! Okay, fruit cake, huh? Look at this. This is just gross. Oh, what the? Ugh! <laughs> As for our T Rex, it looks like his head came off. And then here on his. Looks like we hit him here in the... Subscribe! So with a big revolver like this, you may be tempted to not hold it here and want to hold up here. And that would be a big mistake. Fun fact, there is a lot of pressure that escapes between the cylinder and the barrel. And if your finger is right there where all that pressure is escaping, 
could be a bad day. That would not feel very good. Oh, it's a little floppy. So up next, I'm gonna set up these beverages and I'm gonna shoot them each with a different caliber. All right, 45 Colt, 460, and 454 Casul. Okay, I had a miss with the 45 Colt. Good hit with the 454 Casul and now the 460. Difference. So it looks like I am having a difference in point of impact with the 45 Colt. Let's see what happens when I scoot up a little bit. The 460 Magnum was producing so much hydrostatic shock that it damaged the table. Up next, we're going to shoot some eggplant. Nobody likes eggplant. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, we are going to shoot some eggplant next, but this is worse than eggplant. It is six pounds of eggplant puree. And to top it off, we have the worst cake you can get, fruit cake. Oh, what are those gumballs? What? <coughs> oh! I think I hit a little high. Look at how disgusting this is. Oh gosh, it's like bird poop and it smells like a wet ashtray. So next, I wanna take about five rapid fire shots with the 45 Colt, 454 Casul, and the 460 Magnum and see what kind of difference in recoil we have. All right, 45 Colt first. no recoil this thing is so heavy and the muzzle brake the 45 colt is like nothing now for the 454 casul should be a difference here <laughs> More recoil than the 45 Colts. I expect to see a really big difference now though stepping it up to the 460 Magnum. funny is I feel the recoil but I don't know if you're really going to be able to see the difference because this thing just doesn't seem to move okay I have scooted back to a hundred yards and we're going to see if we can hit some five gallon water jugs okay let's see if we can hit these things Gotta get them in my sight picture first. Okay, here we go. Whoa! All right, we hit one. Let's see if we can get water jug number two.
water went so high. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, we nailed those things. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, and that one's missing its top. That blew straight up. <laughs> like a bottle rocket. So I know today I wanted to take most of my shots from a distance, but I just can't help myself. We're gonna finish up with a point blank shot of this back man. If you don't know what a back man is, he's full of tiny little beads. And when you attach this to his head, you suck all the air out of him and he becomes rigid. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was awesome. today's video what did you think about the smith and wesson 460 magnum let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed today's video do me a big favor and give it a like and if you're not subscribed to kentucky ballistics do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button also be sure and check me out on kentucky customs kentucky ballistics shorts facebook instagram patreon and twitter links to all those can be found in the description down below along with a link to kentuckyballistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt and as always my name is scott thank you so much for watching kentucky ballistics i'll see you next time